tea helps our body's hardwired self-defenses resist disease. To explore the benefits of tea, we're joined by Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned physician and scientist whose forward-thinking research is transforming how we think about disease prevention. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. As president and co-founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation, Dr. Lee has dedicated his career to studying how dietary factors can impact health at the cellular level. His work spans over 70 diseases, including cancer, obesity, and Alzheimer's. You may know Dr. Lee from his wildly popular TED Talk that explored using food to starve cancer, or from one of his best-selling books such as Eat to Beat Disease. And now, his latest research shines a light on the humble cup of tea and the surprising ways it may boost our body's regenerative capabilities. With over 100 peer-reviewed studies to his name, Dr. Lee brings a wealth of scientific expertise as he guides us through tea's potential effects on stem cells, inflammation, and overall longevity. Now, Dr. Lee will talk briefly about the five disease health defenses. When we're born, when we are formed in our mom's wombs, the day we're born, our health defense systems hardwired are fighting to, uh, for our health. They help us oh, resist fine. disease. And the question isn't, you know, um, why do we get a disease? It's actually, why don't we get disease more often? And the reason and the answer to that question is because our health defenses are, are really, really um, raring to go. What are those health defenses? Angiogenesis, our circulation, our blood vessels, our stem cells regeneration, um, our microbiome, our healthy gut bacteria, our DNA, which also protects us from the environment, and our immune system. These are the five health defense systems that we are born with. Thank you, Dr. Lee. That is the five health defenses. So, what are the natural, healthy chemicals in tea? Let's listen to Dr. Lee. From a sort of researcher's perspective, there are thousands of natural chemicals. We call them bioactives because they act they, they interact with our biology and um, some of the compounds that are natural chemicals are like catechins, gallic acid, uh, theanine and theoflavins, and they all wind up in a cup of tea when you brew it. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Now, Dr. Lee will describe a few of the health benefits of tea. Um, and um, some of the amazing things that have been shown by research is that drinking tea uh, actually can uh, help prevent our cells from aging. Is if you take tea um, <clears throat> and you put it into the same system that is growing blood vessels that would feed a cancer. Cancers are harmless if they can't get a blood supply. And if you put tea in that system, the blood vessels that would feed a tumor cannot grow it takes it right, takes them right apart prevents new ones from growing it actually helps our circulation it's been shown in the lab to help fight cancer growth other studies have showed lowers blood pressure helps your blood cholesterol helps your immune system it's got antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties okay wow lots of health benefits from tea tea improves circulation kills cancer cells lowers blood pressure lowers cholesterol helps the immune system has antioxidants and is anti-inflammatory amazing let me share a little bit about the um the different types of diseases that tea has been shown through research to be protective of and how much you need to drink and so we talked about the fact that for colon cancer research has shown that drinking two to three cups of green tea uh, causes a, a a substantial reduction of about 47 percent um, cardiovascular disease, um, you know, heart disease, which in cardiovascular is all the blood vessels in our body, stroke, brain, uh, heart attack, four cups of tea a day, which I easily drink four cups of tea a day, um, has been shown to substantially lower the risk of heart disease. Same amount dose for lowering the risk of lupus, which is an autoimmune inflammatory disease, calming the immune system down to the right size and you know some of the things that really surprised me by lowering inflammation without compromising our immunity against bacteria and viruses um you know about four to five cups a day has been shown to be beneficial to protect against multiple sclerosis which is an autoimmune disease and rheumatoid arthritis as well thank you dr lee for giving us insights on how much to drink for colon cancer stroke brain health cardiovascular heart attack lupus, 
multiple sclerosis, EMS and rheumatoid arthritis. Who hasn't heard of the benefits of green tea? We know tea has polyphenols, they're called catechins. We know one of the catechins is called EGCG. It's actually really, really good for you. Not only does it cut off the blood supplies to help starve cancers, not only is it anti-inflammatory, uh, not only does it help protect your stem cells so you can regenerate from the inside out, the, the, the fiber in green tea and some of the catechins, the catechin itself is actually a prebiotic, helps to nourish your, nourish your gut microbiome, take your gut bacteria, make it happy. It's antioxidant, good for your DNA, stimulates your immune system. It turns out when it comes to your body fat, the catechin actually fights white fat it actually helps you actually lose some of the subcutaneous jiggly stuff but more importantly it actually helps you lose visceral fat the harmful baseball glove fat that can be trapped even inside a skinny body so the bottom line is that green tea drinkers just metabolically are healthier there is a skinny person hiding in the visceral fat when it comes to green tea doctor lee has uncovered some fascinating insights his studies show that compounds in green tea, like epigallocatechin gallate or egg, can actually help reduce inflammation and visceral fat accumulation. Visceral fat, the dangerous fat that builds up around your abdominal organs, has been linked to increased risks of heart disease, diabetes, and other metabolic disorders. But the antioxidants in green tea appear to target and shrink this harmful visceral fat. In one study, Dr. Lee found that men with high visceral fat levels who consumed green tea extract with 690 mg of catechins like egg lost nearly twice as much visceral fat over 12 weeks compared to a placebo group. The green tea drinkers also saw improvements in triglyceride and belly circumference measurements. But that's not all Dr. Lee's research suggests green tea may beneficially impact stem cell regeneration, too. The antioxidants in green tea appear to support stem cell proliferation and differentiation, which could aid tissue repair and renewal over time. With its rich catechin content, ability to fight inflammation, burn fat, and potentially stimulate stem cells, Dr. Lee presents a compelling case for making green tea a daily health habit. As he puts it, green tea may be one of the most powerful nutrigenomic medicines out there. I'll drink to that. Matcha, which is the whole leaf of green tea powdered up, has been found by researchers to kill breast cancer stem cells. Quite amazing. Um, those are the baby cells that help that help the cancer keep coming back. Um, but does so much other as well as anti-inflammatory, good for uh, uh, psoriasis and lowers stress as well. When it comes to tapping into the health benefits of green tea, Dr. Lee is particularly excited about matcha. This finely milled green tea powder packs an incredible antioxidant punch. Matcha is made from shade-grown green tea leaves that contain higher levels of protective compounds like L-theanine and epigallocatechin gallate, or egg. Just one serving of matcha can provide over 10 times the antioxidant content of regular brewed green tea. In Dr. Lee's studies, the concentration of these potent antioxidants in matcha has shown the ability to inhibit several steps in the angiogenesis process that promotes tumor growth and spread. The egg in particular helps choke off the blood supply that feeds cancerous cells. But matcha's benefits go well beyond its anti-cancer effects. Dr. Lee has found that the amino acid L-theanine induces the production of calming alpha brain waves to promote alertness without the jittery side effects of high caffeine intake. Additionally, matcha is rich in chlorophyll which Dr. Lee's research suggests may help detoxify the body, improve blood flow and even regenerate aging cells, including those found in the skin and organs. He also suggests matcha green tea may help fight breast cancer stem cells. These stubborn cells can form tumors and resist treatments. In lab studies, matcha's antioxidants disrupted these stem cells, potentially hindering tumor growth by 97%. Researchers believe this could be a promising strategy to prevent cancer spread and recurrence. So for those looking to get the most concentrated dose of green tea's health-promoting properties, Dr. Lee wholeheartedly recommends incorporating matcha into your diet. <laughs> I'll drink to that. The, the reigning thought was that black teas, dark teas, are highly oxidized and that oxidation process would naturally destroy useful chemicals. But obviously that's not the case. While green tea gets a lot of well-deserved attention, Dr. Lee's work shows that black tea should not be overlooked for its health-promoting properties. This fully oxidized tea variety contains a unique set of polyphenol compounds that Dr. Lee has found can provide some powerful advantages. In multiple studies, 
Dr. Lee demonstrated that the theflavins and theorubigens in black tea have potent anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer effects. These compounds were shown to inhibit tumor growth, metastasis, and angiogenesis the formation of new blood vessels that feed cancers. But black tea's benefits extend far beyond just cancer prevention. Dr. Lee's research reveals black tea may also protect against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. The polyphenols help block inflammatory pathways linked to cognitive decline while promoting production of brain-derived neurotrophic factors. Additionally, Dr. Lee cites evidence that black tea helps reduce dangerous visceral fat around the organs. This effect appears related to its ability to improve gut microbiome diversity and boost metabolism. Dr. Lee's pro-black tea stance is backed by over 15 years of research delving into its molecular mechanisms. He notes that even just two to three cups of black tea daily can provide impactful anti-inflammatory and prebiotic benefits. So for those looking for a low-cost, accessible way to improve their health, Dr. Lee highly recommends adding high-quality black tea to their regular routine. I'll drink to that. <laughs> and we had all assumed that you know, the things that people have said that Japanese tea would be the strongest and then maybe the Chinese green tea. And nobody ever thought that um, Earl Grey would have any power at all. In fact, the reason that I was part of the design of this re experiment was research. We chose Earl Grey because we thought it was going to flunk the test. And little did we know that the Earl Grey came, won the gold in the competition. It actually blew away. Um, both Japanese and Chinese green teas. While most tea research focuses on green and black varieties, Dr. Lee has also explored the potential upsides of the distinctly flavored Earl Grey. This aromatic black tea, scented with bergamot oil, may pack some unique health-promoting punches. In Dr. Lee's studies, compounds in bergamot oil like citroptin have exhibited potent anti-inflammatory effects by inhibiting enzymes that trigger inflammation. This anti-inflammatory action appears to extend to Earl Grey tea itself. Additionally, Dr. Lee found that bergamot extracts could sensitize certain types of cancer cells to chemotherapy drugs while leaving healthy cells unharmed. This suggests Earl Grey may help make cancer treatments more effective and targeted. But the benefits don't stop there. Dr. Lee's team also identified compounds in Earl Grey that appear to reduce harmful visceral fat accumulation and improve cholesterol levels by regulating gene expression. As Dr. Lee explains, the bergamot aromatics in Earl Grey seem to provide this tea with some special powers. Its ability to quell inflammation, sensitize cancer cells, and positively influence our metabolism make it a unique and surprising health beverage. He suggests drinking two to three cups of high quality, Bergamot scented Earl Grey daily to absorb its full scope of anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, and metabolic benefits. With its distinctly perfumed flavor and potential disease-fighting properties, Earl Grey may be an enticing new tea for health enthusiasts to explore. I'll drink to that. Don't be afraid of oolong. It has um, got a lot of the research that shows it's also good um, as green tea. It's just got a different, it's a different style of the tea. When it comes to the spectrum of teas, Dr. Lee is particularly intrigued by the potential healing properties of oolong. This partially oxidized tea hits a sweet spot between green and black teas, offering a unique array of compounds. In Dr. Lee's studies, oolong tea has demonstrated significant antioxidant, anti-obesity, and anti-diabetic effects. The polyphenols in oolong, like catechins and theflavins, appear to increase metabolism and improve insulin sensitivity. One study, highlighted by Dr. Lee found that consuming oolong tea helped reduce dangerous visceral fat accumulation and improved lipid profiles in overweight individuals over just six weeks. The tea seemed to boost fat metabolism while suppressing adipogenesis. But oolong may also pack some powerful anti-cancer potential according to Dr. Lee's research. Compounds like polymerized polyphenols were shown to inhibit angiogenesis the process cancers use to generate blood vessel growth and spread. As Dr. Lee explains, oolong tea really straddles the line, giving you the best of both green and black teas. Its ability to help fight obesity, diabetes, and cancer make it a remarkable all-in-one beverage for disease prevention. Interestingly, Dr. Lee's team uncovered evidence that oolong tea may even aid bone health by promoting osteoblast activity and reducing oxidative stress in bone cells. While more clinical research is still needed, 
Dr. Lee is bullish on Oolong's potential disease-fighting capabilities across several fronts. He suggests drinking two to four cups daily to fully capitalize on Oolong's antioxidant, anti-obesity, and anti-angiogenic effects. Let's hear more about Oolong tea from Dr. Lee. I'll drink to that. But I want people to remember Oolong is a, is a different flavor along the continuum of green tea. And many people will be familiar with oolong tea because it's the kind of tea that often you get served in a Chinese restaurant. Now, the free tea you get is usually not a high quality tea, but it's you know perfectly drinkable. But there are some very special kinds of oolong tea, which is a little more brown in color, um, uh, but it's got a nice rounded flavor to it. The next tea is chamomile. Yes, chamomile is very good for you. It actually truly does calm uh, the mind and the body and the soul. And it also has some good properties for your gut health. So then when you're sleeping at night, it's taking care of your healthy gut bacteria as well. While often regarded simply as a soothing bedtime tea, Dr. Lee has found that chamomile may pack some surprisingly potent health promoting properties. This ancient medicinal herb has been a recent subject of focus in his lab. Through multiple studies, Dr. Lee has uncovered chamomile's ability to inhibit inflammation through several mechanisms. Its epigenin compounds help disrupt cellular signaling pathways that trigger the inflammatory response. But chamomile's benefits may extend well beyond just fighting inflammation. Dr. Lee's research suggests the herb can positively influence mood by modulating GABA activity in the brain's anxiety pathways. Participants who consume chamomile extracts reported improved relaxation and sleep quality. Impressively, chamomile also appears to beneficially impact the gut microbiome, according to Dr. Lee's data. Its polyphenols seem to promote the growth of beneficial bacteria like bifidobacteria, while reducing pathogenic populations that drive inflammation. As he explains, by quelling inflammation, lifting mood, and nurturing a healthier gut microbiome, Chamomile is multitasking in a way that gets at the core of so many modern chronic diseases. Dr. Lee's findings also suggest chamomile's apigenin binds to certain proteins involved in cancer cell migration and invasion, inhibiting metastasis. Additionally, it appears to promote a healthy metabolism by enhancing insulin sensitivity and fat oxidation. While more research is still needed, Dr. Lee is impressed with chamomile's all-around disease-fighting potential. He suggests drinking two to three cups daily to take advantage of its anti-inflammatory, mood-boosting, microbiome-enhancing, and metabolic benefits. So the next time you sip a warm mug of chamomile tea, you may be getting much more than just its soothing aromatics. As Dr. Lee puts it, this pedantic little plant may be one of our most powerful natural remedies, in a cup. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.